now face the British and American universities student demands for so-called no platforming, so that, for example, Germaine Greer has been denied a platform to speak because of her views on transgender people. What do you think about that practice? No, oh, I'm very much opposed to it. I've been subjected to it myself. You've uh, been well, no platform. Oh, I mean, for years. I, if I wanted to talk on the Middle East in an American university, I had to have police protection up until a few years ago. I mean, uh, airport security, if, uh, if, a, if a meeting was even allowed, uh, attacks on the uh, a attempts to remove the tenure of professors who invited me to talk, that's much more extreme than what the students have been I mean, I'm opposed to what they're doing, but it's a minor part. I think we should really have open platforms in universities. There should, if students don't like something that's being said, they can stay away. Uh, but we should recognize that that's a very minor part of it. Uh, the major part is the closing off of options for people who are critical at the dissenting side from uh, the overwhelming consensus at the university and outside. Uh, the Middle East is a very striking example. It's, it's instantly changed in the last few years. But literally up until about, I'd say, 10 years ago, if I was giving a talk on the Middle East at my own university, I'd have to have police protection. Uh, other, uh, there were times when the police would insist on walking me back to my car because of information they'd picked up about threats. And nobody ever protested this. This was considered fine. You know. But the heckler's veto did not prevail. The heckler's veto did not prevail. Oh, sure, they broke up meetings. There were meetings that were literally broken up by hecklers. And nobody ever protested that. I didn't either. Uh, it's when students begin to veer in that direction on the other side that the protests begin. Now, I'm not defending what they're doing, but we should put it in context. The context is that preventing speech that is critical of the major consensus is never protested. So in short, to re reformulate that, the, the guiding principle for universities should be that there should be the widest possible range of views. Exactly. So, I mean, just as in my own reading, I read right across the spectrum, and that's what students should be exposed to.